Okay, we have put a string on the camera, and we are now going to try and see which tees we can get into. Uh, it just really all depends on where the string ends up with the camera. Okay, as you can see here, uh, this is a smaller pipe. Uh, this first one picks up a floor drain that's here in the room. As you can see here, we do have a T, not too far down after we turn, and uh, we're going to try and see if we can get into uh, this T. Okay, so you can see our camera uh, knots pulling in the wrong direction. So we're going to continue on upstream. Okay, as you can see, we just partially get up uh, this line. Uh, we do can look up it a bit. But we can't push the camera all the way through. Uh, we are going to go ahead and continue downstream and see if we can get in any of the other Ys or Ts.
Okay, as you can see, uh, looking up this line, uh, you can see right around the 3 o'clock, uh, there's holes in this line. Uh, this is the perforated that comes off the bleeder. Uh, this means we're within 5 foot of the bleeder. Uh, this does look clear at this time. Uh, we are going to go ahead and continue uh, recording out. I believe there's one more T uh, we can try and see if we can get into. Okay, this does just take us back. Uh, we are going to go ahead at this time and pull our camera and uh, string back. Uh, we will see if we can get up any of the tees that we already didn't look up. Uh, it is possible that we'll have to switch the uh, string around and try to video again.